Callum Wilson is exactly the profile that Chelsea needs right now. I'm talking about profile. And watch this short video until the end before you understand what I'm trying to say. According to many reports, Chelsea are willing to pay 21 million in order to get the Newcastle man. Let's start by the positives. He's at very good edge. He scores goals, left foot, right foot, headers, all kind of different goals. He is mature physically and mentally. He is premierly proven and you don't have to babysit him and wait for five more years before he start performing. This guy comes to Chelsea, he will hit the ground running and he will score goals. And that is the most important things at Chelsea Football Club because we don't have many people who can score goals. Let's now talk about negatives. There is only one negative on this one. Injuries. The guy is the king of injuries. Probably I'm trying to exaggerate a little bit here, but can you really blame me for a Chelsea fan? No, because if he comes to Chelsea, those injuries are going to be times 10. This brother literally spent half of the season in the hospital every single season. Atletico Madrid and AC Milan wanted him in this transfer window, but for one reason or another, it didn't materialize. It looks like uh, Newcastle United said no, or the money offered were not good enough according to Newcastle standards. Only a Chelsea football club that owners, fans, sporting directors, board are determined to get rid of anything good in the club. If that means it's going to bring money and satisfies our egos and tribalism. Conor Gallagher never got injured. But there are so many people in the Chelsea community who are ready to get an injury prone player, an average Sunday league player, if that means it's gonna block the way to Cobham and especially Conor Gallagher. It tells you everything you want to know. If Chelsea fans can learn to support the team without borders, that is going to be a better future for this club. But if we're going to continue with xenophobia, hate, discrimination, my friend, we're not going anywhere. Best ability is inviolability. I don't care if Nkunku is going to be the next Maradona. If he's not on that pitch, is absolutely useless. I would prefer to have somebody who is offering me 7 and 8 out of 10 every single game and don't get injured than somebody who is only good on paper and who been hyped by the entire community. I've already made a short video about John Duran, what I think about that potential deal. I'm going to leave the link at the end of this video or play the clip at the end of this video. Football is not an exact science. It depends on many factors. Just because it doesn't work for you today doesn't mean that it's not going to work for you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Lowe and Fabrizio Romano just confirmed Chelsea interest for John Duran from Aston Villa. Keep an open mind. Don't jump to the bandwagon just because everybody is repeating the same thing on social media you copy and paste. Think outside the box before you make all kind of theory and narrative. For me, if this deal was about long term, or if Chelsea got an option to buy him and develop him, that makes sense. But if it's going to be only for six-month loan, 
and send him back to Villa when Chelsea took time to develop somebody's player that makes zero sense in my humble opinion why can't you just give a chance to david washington whisper richard or even armando broja give him until the end of the season and see what's gonna happen before you make a decision to go for a big gun like Osiman. why are you gonna take time to develop john duran knowing that he's going back to his team at the end of the season duran still a raw talent who need a lot of work just like many kids that we have in the chelsea team right now chelsea fans are looking for experience already made players who can hit the ground running immediately and help us for the rest of the season i don't think duran is that guy but i am going to keep an open mind if chelsea got an option to buy him permanently remember when thomas tuko wanted to sign anthony gordon at chelsea football club we all didn't want the deal to happen including me yes i didn't want him at chelsea football club because i was influenced by big account on social media who said the guy is not good enough he only runs, 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 no skill, no nothing. And today, if you look at Anthony Gordon in the Premier League, probably he's just on top there. And the same people who didn't want him to sign for Chelsea Football Club are flip-flopping and saying, what if Thomas Tuchel was right about Anthony Gordon? Chelsea project is amazing. You might not see it right now because it doesn't bear fruit immediately the way you want it but in the future my friend looking back you will be like wow this is probably the best things that ever happened to chelsea because we built for the future and now we start delivering year after year for a long period of time so before you copy paste narrative think outside the box and don't forget to like subscribe and share